What's up model makers? It's time for another quick product review and once again it's a Tamiya product uh, and if that uh, seems odd that I uh, just got done reviewing a Tamiya product like a week ago when I did their panel line accent colors um, hey look I love Tamiya stuff they uh, you know whether it's their model kits or their tools uh, all of their products are just so well engineered and so well thought out it's almost as if they were model makers and they knew exactly what we needed. I mean, what a concept, right? Anyway, what I'm going to review here real quick are the Tamiya Fine Line Craft Saws. So, let's take a look. All right, let's check these things out. As you can see, they come in a little package like this that tells you exactly what you are getting. And this is what they look like after you uh, clip them off of the uh, photo etch fret with your super sharp Xeron photo etch shears like I just did. And you can see that Tamiya in their typically wonderfully engineered fashion has given you uh, bend lines. And that is very nice because it makes it where you don't have to have uh, any sort of special photo etch bending apparatus to get these things into the correct shape, uh, as I will demonstrate here. But you may be asking yourself, why do I even need to bend it in the first place? That will become apparent here in just a second. Uh, as you can see, I've got these uh, flat jawed pliers, and I'm going to just crank that over. Pretty easy. Once you get cranked over far enough, you can probably just uh, get it to go the rest of the way just by squeezing it between your thumb and forefinger. So then you take the other side and fold it the opposite direction so you kind of have this sort of tri folded affair. And then take and give it a good squeeze with the pliers. Make sure it's totally flat. Now, the reason that Tammy has done this for you, and this is what's really cool, is that makes the shank of the saw blade three times as thick. Which, you're probably already way ahead of me if you've ever tried to put something as skinny as one of these saw blades into an X-Acto handle. You know that the slots are way too thick because, or way too wide, because an X-Acto handle is a lot, or an X-Acto knife blade is a lot thicker than this little photo etch saw blade. Uh, so uh, what Tammy has done is basically just given you the material that allows you to uh, make the shank of, of this little thing thick enough that you can actually tighten the, uh, the, the ferrule on the, on the hand on the exacto handle enough that it will hold it securely. So once you've got it in there, then you just screw it on tight. And I like to give them a good twist with a pair of pliers just to make sure, but there you go. That's what it looks like when it's mounted up. Now, this little butter knife looking blade is really the main reason that I bought this set because I saw somebody demonstrate using this as a scribing tool. And the fact that it's rounded makes it work really well for pushing and pulling. But it's also the fact that if you look really close, you can see that the teeth are bi-directional. In other words, they are symmetrical uh, in, in their shape. Now that's a good thing and a bad thing. It's good because it allows the uh, blade to, to move uh, either direction pretty easily, but as I'll show you, it means that it doesn't cut quite as easily uh, as some other designs. At any rate, uh, this thing, these things do cut really well. You get uh, the uh, convex blade that I just showed you. Oh, if I could get it on the camera. Uh, anyway, okay, you get the convex blade. That one. 
if the camera will focus, you get this concave blade. And then you get these two flat blades. So, a pretty nice selection. Now, I think that, whoops, I think that this concave blade is gonna be really handy for situations like this. Let's say that you've uh, got a, a, a situation where you need to rescribe a panel line across uh, a fuselage where it's curved. Now you know that you can do that with a flat blade, but a curved blade helps you stay in the groove a little bit better. If I could stay on camera, it's not helping me do that. But at any rate, it cuts very smoothly in either direction and makes real quick and easy work of that. Now, one thing that I like about this blade over another one that I have, and that's the, this is the RB Productions razor saw, um, which I've used for scribing panel lines before, but this is actually uh, quite a bit thinner. Uh, maybe not quite a bit, but it's noticeably thinner. And sometimes the groove that it cuts is just too thin, and I end up having to tilt the saw, take one cut going straight up and down, and then one cut tilted this way, and one cut tilted this way to make the groove wide enough. And I don't think I'm going to have to do that with the Tamiya blade. But here's, the, here's, the, here's one of the real differences. Okay, if you look closely at this RB uh, blade, you should hopefully be able to see that the teeth on it are not going to cut both directions. It's, it's got a it's got a distinct uh, orientation. And this thing cuts much easier, much, much faster than the Tamiya saw for that reason. Um, this thing is just like a, a laser beam. It, it cuts so fast. Uh, but it's difficult to get it started when you're working in that direction, uh, when you're going against the points of the, of the blade. So that's a little bit of a, of a disadvantage. You just, you know, it's kind of a trade-off. It's just all in what you need. But this thing will slice styrene uh, like nobody's business. It's just a little bit more uh, of a handful to manage. Um, the other thing that I don't like about the RB designs, and this is true of, of all of their stuff, they're... It's what that I've seen anyway, they're glue applicators, everything. They don't give you that extra thickness of material. Um, even with the, the holder there, it's not thick enough to stay put in one of these X-Acto blades. And so I've got this one permanently super glued into this old X-Acto handle to, uh, to solve that problem. So no big deal, still works good. Now the other sort of bonus that I got from the Tamiya craft saws photo etch Fred is something that I've been wanting and that is a better spatula for spreading thick putties. So what did I do? I took a, I cut some uh, material off of the, uh, the fret and made myself a nice spring steel uh, spatula blade that I put in another one of these handles. Where did I get all of these exacto handles? Um, I got a dozen of them on Amazon for about 12 bucks, and they all came with a blade in them, which I just tossed, uh, but it's, a, it's an awesome deal because that uh, works out to about a dollar per handle. And these are even better than the real X-Acto handles because they still have the, uh, the, the, the cross cut in the, uh, in the ferrule there. Whereas the newer X-Acto handles, got one right here, they've started cheaping out on us and they're only cutting in one direction. So there you go. That's uh, maybe a little bit more than uh, you bargained for when I said I was gonna review the uh, Tamiya razor saw, but hey, it's a bonus video. All right, so there you go. Pretty cool, huh? I think uh, it's a great product. I'm looking forward to using it. Um, I think they'll come in handy not only for chopping up pieces of styrene, but as I was saying, also for doing some panel line rescribing. And we can all use uh, an easier way to do that. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Much love.